What's up? And Ben Logan right back at it again as we bring back to you episode 4 of What You're Cooking. Now this is yet another week of the Circuit Breaker. Have you guys been staying at home? Now, if you have been watching our episodes, thank you for all your comments. And of course, uh, we have been looking out for you. If you have been enjoying the bonding sessions with your family, cooking our amazing dishes and recipes, thank you so much for being along with us. And of course, uh, right back today, we have our sport dietitian from Singapore Sport Institute to join us once again. This is Cheryl Teo. Yeah. <laughs> Dan -dan. Good to have you back once again. Nice and of course, this back. is the second episode you're on board with us. Now, it has been uh, another week of Circuit Baker. Many of the people who have watched last episode were so excited about your apple crumble and they're saying, give us more. So we're looking forward to the next dessert and the recipes coming up. But before that, as we head on in to yet another week of Circuit Breaker, what do you want to say to our viewers out there? Yeah, I think it's quite hard to be staying home all the time. So I hope you've got some activities and um, lots of family time to freshen your mind. Um, and hopefully you've been able to experiment a little bit of, with the recipes that we've taught you and find out new flavours and tastes. At home, right? Yeah. And of course, for the little ones out there, if your daddies and mommies have been challenging you to some of the little challenges that we've taken on, remember, remember, always vote or comment on your favourite participant that's on. We might be able to bring them back. We don't know. But most importantly, carry on watching because today, we have someone exciting to come on board with us. Now, do you know who that is? Alright, I'm going to tell you a little bit more. Now, this gentleman that's joining us today is our very own Singapore National Taekwondo Athlete. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome on board today, Ng Ming Aha! Hello. <laughs> Did I scare you there, bro? Yeah. <laughs> good to see you. This good to our, see you too. This is our traditional elbow bump because okay. we're still keeping you know, good measures, one yeah. meter distance. Mm. We're going to talk from a distance away. Okay. Now, um, you know, you have been training mm -hmm. and with the COVID-19 as a youngster yep. yourself, uh, is there anything you want to share with the viewers out there, especially when it comes to staying at home? Oh, okay. Mm, regarding this, I think it's very frustrating for everyone to stay at home because even for athletes, we find it very difficult to like do group trainings or training with other people. And many of, many of us feel frustrated because we can't go out to meet our friends or to do other activities. A lot of our plans also got cancelled. But the thing is, as long as we stay at home and be socially responsible, all this will end faster and we can all go back to our normal life soon. That's true, especially yeah. for the youngsters out there, we really need you to take on a social responsible role because you might think that you're healthy, you can recover from it, but hey, you never know that you might incidentally spread it on to people around you and especially the elderly out there, they need more care and concern for us. So let's do it together and play it safe. Now we're going to test you on the one meter safety distance you take on though, right? Every time you keep arms length. Let's see how we keep uh, safety distance using your foot length. I think oh. I'll get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come. Let's see how, how, how high you can lift your leg. This one. My goodness. I can't even lift past the table. <laughs> <laughs> but really, oh. thank you for joining us. It's always great to have young people on board. Cheryl, come on back. Don't worry. <laughs> We're not going to get you in the midst of our battle over here. But it's going to be another round of cooking challenges and recipes. What do we have? for this episode this time around. Okay, so today we're going to make something colourful. Um, we're going to do okonomiyaki, which is a Japanese pancake. Oh. Can you repeat the recipe? Um, what is it called? Okoyomaki. <laughs> <laughs> Yokonanamaki? Okonomiyaki. <laughs> oh, okay. Okonomiyaki. Oh, okay. Oh, nani kure! That is Japanese, right? Japanese. You like Japanese food, bro? Yes, I love Japanese what food. What are some of your favourite Japanese cuisines? Mm. Just curious. Sushi? Ah, yeah. mm. does, does this infuse rice? No, no rice. I'm using dashi and flour. Oh, oh. so this is going to be a uh, colourful style again because when it comes to colourful choices of ingredients, it will be different types of... Antioxidants and nutrients. I am learning well. Dun -dun. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to teach you. Do, you. do you eat greens? Are you a green lover? Um, yeah. Usually, I, I do eat a lot of so greens. Let's test him lah, since he, we have always have you to introduce the oh, ingredients, okay, right? Sure. So, tell me, what is this over here? Oh. What comes to your mind? Anything, don't worry. It might be right, it might be wrong, it's okay. I know that, but I forgot the name. Never mind, just give you a guess. <laughs> um, Onion la. Oh, okay. <laughs> Onion. Come on, no. Huh? <laughs> Red cabbage. Oh. <laughs> 
You tell me onion just now. <laughs> then now you tell me you don't know. Okay, okay. never mind. Red cabbage. Oh, it looks almost like onion. Yeah. Man. Mm, yeah. Right? Yeah. Next one, this one. Cabbage. Is it correct? Yes. Yeah, oh. I thought lettuce. Lettuce and cabbage, is it the same? No. What's the different? difference? Lettuce is a little bit more crunchy. Alright. Uh, cabbage, harder. A oh. bit harder. Oh. Alright, mm. so, and the last one, if you don't know, I don't know how to save you. What's this one? <laughs> mm, carrot. Tomato. <laughs> so is that all the ingredients that we have today? Anything more that you want to introduce yeah, to the audience? Yeah, so I've got eggs that goes into the okonomiyaki. Alright, proteins. Um, flour. Uh, flour. Flour. <laughs> a little bit of baking soda, uh, baking powder. Baking powder. Um, water. Okay. I've got dashi stock. Dashi stock. Where do we get yes. this? Um, you can buy it from the supermarket. Okay, so yeah. it's easily available. Right? Yeah, it's quite readily available. Okay. Um, and I'm going to use some prawns. Let me... Oh, I, wow. Mm, oh. So you're going to use seafood. But of course, if you don't have seafood, you can use any other meats. Oh, so the cool thing is you can creatively interchange the ingredients, right? Do you like seafood? Yeah. Alright, do you like meat? Yeah. So you can use meat, seafood? Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so let's get our hands down to this one. Okay, so the first thing is we'll make the batter. So Mingwei, can I get you to help me weigh out 150 grams Fine. of flour? You're choosing the batter man to do the batter now? No, because everything huh? is there. <laughs> yeah, the batter yeah, man yeah. to do the batter. I forgot, I'm the guy that don't like to weigh myself. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, uh, Mingwei, you are 22? 26. 26. Wow, very well maintained. I mean, I wasn't expecting him to be 26. He looks really young and you know, energetic over here. Have Thank you. you. Know, have you done... Uh, is it the first time you're placing flour yeah. into the bowl? Yep. You know what we're really trying to tell yeah, you is okay. that... Uh, yeah, in every you. episode, we really have people who have never had much experience in cooking. I'm improving along the way. I hope you are too. Yes. Alright, the flour is done. Yes. So, um, into that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking... Powder. powder. What's the difference between baking powder and baking soda? This has an alkaline and an acid together. So once it, you, you add liquid to it, it will start to bubble. bubble. But then um, baking soda is just the alkaline. So you need to add an additional acid oh, to it. So it's actually easier with baking powder. Yeah, it's all in one. Wow. Okay, then I'm going to add um, Let one Let our pack. gentleman open the pack for you. Be a gentleman, brother. Uh, this is how you get involved. Kay. Because I've been using eye power for too long. Okay, now Ben, can yeah. you help me crack the eggs inside? Please? <laughs> this is like the third time I'm cracking eggs. <laughs> I should be well trained by now. We will All crack right. one each, bro. Okay. With okay. one hand. <laughs> one uh, hand? Huh. <laughs> Hang on, me first, me first. Oh, okay. <laughs> Improved. Your turn, buddy. crushed the entire egg. <laughs> he really crushed the entire egg. He's very strong. It's okay bro. Now we have That's a bean over right. here. Yep. Thank you. And of course with that, it is on purpose because we must always... Wash our hands. Wash our hands. Yes. Alright. So if a little bit of shell goes in, no problem. But remember to take it out. Oh yeah, because we don't want additional calcium inside, right? Additional crunch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So I'm going to just pour the eggs in. Okay. So it's actually good that you crack the eggs in a separate bowl. So you, if you mm. drop any shells in, you can always fish it out. Oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Because sometimes we can be a little bit clumsy. Or maybe you might be using a mobile phone and cracking at the same time. You don't want to have that additional punch. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Alright, so now next. Okay. So I'm just going to add 150 ml of cold water. So, what I did was just to mix up the batter. Okay. Um, it's okay if it's a little bit... So, we just lightly whisk it? Yeah, I just lightly whisk it. Okay. okay, so now I'm going to add the veggies in. Come, let's... You don't do the work lah, we got youngster on oh, okay. there, you know, let him sure. train. Everything. So, traditionally, mm. okonomiyaki is made with just green cabbage. Mm -hmm. But, with the theme of um, today's cooking show, mm. and I want to introduce more colours. Yes. Um, I'm adding also carrots. Mm. and red cabbage. I'm imparting you my skill of eye power. See, Thank more practice is important. Look at the waste stage over here. Do I add this? Okay. Yes. Oh. Thank yes. you. Don't worry, you won't be like Isha. <laughs> uh, he, last episode, he didn't ask, he just add. This one, at least it follows. You know, Alright, you can give it a, a rough mix. Yeah, give oh. it a quick mix and oh. whisk over. Actually, this is like the I Dalgona also... coffee. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Yeah. Have yeah. you tried it before? Yeah. Have you tried doing it successfully? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so at least you've done some, you've been watching some videos online too, so that is why you must participate. Try, go hands on. Yes. That's why we are here for you guys. So I'm going to pop in the, my prawns. Okay. That um, I had 
prepped, so I just peel it and chopped it up. So does the type of prawns that you choose, you know, uh, change the taste of it? Like if I use tiger prawns or, you know, sea prawns or, you know, heavy? I wouldn't go with heavy. La. <laughs> but then, yeah, you can go with anything you like. If you ah. want squid, by all means. Um, I know some people who like to add cheese to this as well. Oh, wow. Or like mochi. Rice cake, oh, so chop it up. Oh, so it a bit more texture. Yeah, yeah, oh. exactly. So how long should you mix this for? Um, Two hours, bro. Okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Until it's just roughly mixed. Oh, okay. So as yeah. long as it's well mixed and everything is blended yeah, together. Yeah, it's just good. bound together. Yeah. So I'm go, gonna add, go deeper, bro. I'm going to add a little bit more water. <laughs> Think about using your arm power like the way you bit. execute your legs. Yeah? <laughs> Stiff. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's, it's a bit dry, but yeah. Oh, so it has to be... Uh, a little bit wet la, so that it mm. can actually mix better, right? Mm, mm, mm. So you, it's again based on your own gauge? Yes. Oh. Um, the more you cook this, the more familiar you are with it. And what happens with too much water? Um, it just becomes a little bit runny, but still can be eaten, no oh, problem. Okay, okay. So so anyway, that looks really good. Wow. I think let's <sighs> start compliments to fry already it. so fast. Okay, I've got two pans heating up. Can I have Why the oil, the please? don't compliment me every episode? Oh, God yeah. la! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to add some oil okay. to the pan. Why do we have two pans? One for Ben serving and one for me. Oh Ray. yeah, I think <laughs> I think so. <laughs> the papa pan and the boy pan. Uh, no, it's just so that it cooks faster. Alright, so we are going yeah. to do two servings. Two at one time. Okay. okay. Oh wow. Okay, so I'm just going to pop it in. Do it to a size that you find it easy to flip. Okay. Um, because generally the larger it is, the harder it is to flip. Oh. You want to go and oh, give it a go? It. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Mine will end up like a huge <laughs> pancake. Go for it. Okay, so Ming Ming, do you, you are a big eater? Are you a big eater? Um, yeah. You eat a lot? Yep. Alright, then this is for you girl. <laughs> Oops. I followed your footsteps. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I left some ingredients on the table. No problem. I mean, that's the joy of cooking. You, if you keep it too clean, yeah, then it's not it's fun, right? It's not fun anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Most importantly, do you clean up? Ah, yeah. yes. Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> do you do uh, household work, Mingwei? Uh, Ming mm, Once in a blue moon. Don't worry, today you get a chance to do it for us. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Is this okay? I would flatten it a little bit so that it cooks a bit faster. Oh, so the flatter, okay. the pomai mm. is starting to look really big. Alright, we will need to try to flip that later. <laughs> Give okay. it a while. Oh, let's show it to the camera. So this is how it looks like, nice and even. It looks really good. Like, can, yeah. can you... Yeah, the, the smell is coming in. Mm. Wow. Actually, it starts to smell like a Chinese pancake. Oh. Chinese pancake. Yeah. Right, there's a little yeah, yeah. nice fragrance to flour, it. Flour. Flour. Set this aside. Yes. Alright, now that uh, the okonomiyaki is in the pan, and we need some time, you know, I want to tell you something. I've watched his Instagram, and he has the ability to open bottles with his legs. Must see that. Ah, <laughs> so while he's cooking, we're going to challenge you. And uh, yeah, I have my drinking bottle. I was ah. having a beverage. Okay. All right. I'm going to show you. Okay. It's here. One take. <laughs> Are you nervous? I'm stressed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him a challenge straight up. Right? <sighs> okay, come. <laughs> Not the face. <laughs> <Ooh>. Wow. <laughs> It really works. <laughs> you know, half the time when I watch this story, it's like it's fake. <laughs> but it works! Wow! <laughs> Goodness! I'm impressed. Come on back! Okay. Um, impressive? Yes, really! <laughs> wow! With your legs, you really can do quite a fair bit of stuff here. Yeah? So All you're right. going to uh, look at the underside. Yeah, just to see whether it's um, ready Brown, to uh, flip. Ready to oh. flip. Are you yeah. ready to flip, bro? Do you mean flipping with this or the pen flipping? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, flipping the, the pancake. You can use this, maybe... You guys can do it. Oh, challenge <laughs> time? Yeah. Oh, you want to test us, Mingwe? This is your pen, that is my pen. <laughs> You're younger and stronger. So, mm. let's change position. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what, you Go want us it. to? Just flip it. flip it. You can use whatever utensil you want. Okay, I'm going to try a bare hand flip. Wow, this looks tough, bro. Yours looks tough. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! <laughs> okay. That was stressful. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice job. Well done, brother. Oh. Oh, really, well, that was quite stupid. <laughs> I got scared. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more oil below. Yeah, so it's, it's nice and brown. So yeah. we just want to show you. It's very nicely done. 
if some people don't like vegetable, can they replace the vegetable with something else? Mm. Mm. That's a trick question. Yeah. Because traditionally, <laughs> okonomiyaki uses vegetables, vegetables and cabbage. 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 Yeah. yeah, but in my opinion, I think this is a very nice way to introduce vegetables to somebody who doesn't mm. really eat vegetables. Yeah, and remember, don't try this with just sliced potato. That becomes a... Rusty. <laughs> 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 okay. Come on, okay, so are we done? I don't know. Um, let's how long does it see. usually take to pan fry? Uh, depends on how thick it is. Maybe for this, probably per side about three to four minutes. Okay. It's called pan frying, right? Pan frying, yes. Wow, I got the terms correct. You know, usually I get it wrong. Oh, looks quite good. <laughs> yeah, it looks okay, quite good. That okay, one's turn good. Down this the one? Fire a little bit. Let me check. This one is a little bit uh, okay. upsized. Just upsized, yeah. yeah. I think we are ready for that one. Let's plate yes, that one first. Yes, I think so. Oh, it smells really good. Ooh, yeah, look at the colour. My goodness. Yeah. It looks almost like an omelette. Right? Yeah. Right? It looks like an omelette. And, um... It smells good. Yeah. yeah. Shall we make the next one in here? Oh, oh we're okay. making another one. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's get another one going. If you really want to have the chance to enjoy these dishes with us, once again, remember to like, share, comment. If there's any questions you're going to ask about uh, the recipes over here, you can also post your questions in our comment right below. All right, we're looking forward to having some interactions with you guys. All right, Ben, let's get the other one out. Okay, let's get the other plate. Do I have it? Oh, yes. yes. Mama's got it going. Mm. And then we can start to decorate. Oh, do we actually decorate? Be yes. careful. Oh, I got the shrimp. And it looks really, really nice. Wow. Look at this. Anyway. Wow. You want to try? No contact, no contact. No. <laughs> oh, too good. How does it taste? Very nice. But again, while this one is cooking, let's get our plates decorated. Yeah. Let's leave it on. Okay, it right so over. I've got okonomiyaki sauce and mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. If I don't want to use mayonnaise, for example, can I use Greek yogurt? Like how you always do it every episode? No, I only did it for one episode. Uh, I wouldn't really use Greek yogurt in this case. I'm okay. not quite sure what else can replace mayonnaise. But traditionally, in the Japanese way of eating, they will use the mm. Japanese mayonnaise. Yeah. And what's this sauce again? Okonomiyaki sauce. Okonomiyaki. Oh. Okonomiyaki <laughs> sauce. <laughs> okay, I was looking for um, bonito flakes and seaweed that's okay. traditionally on the topping, but I couldn't find any in the supermarket. So, uh, but what I did manage to find is um, furukake, which furukake. is like um, topping for the rice that yes. contains both seaweed and bonito flakes. So we can use that instead. Okay, I'm going to see how you decorate. All right, by all means. Is it us? Oh, wow. One each for you guys okay. to decorate. Okay, mm -hmm. why not? Let's make it a challenge then, huh? Mm, come on, let's see who makes a okay. nicer topping. You go first. I always like to <laughs> peep on my contestants uh, of our, my challenges plate first. Yeah, in the meantime, yeah. I shall check the... Right, very oh, standard. Oh, very nice. <laughs> This is almost like maple syrup on a pancake. <laughs> Done. Alright, you can put as much furakake as you like. Oh. And oh, I've yes, got yes, um, and spring onions spring there on the side if you wish. Um, have a little dash of it in the middle. Alright, oh this looks really nice. Aha! Done. Let's push it forward. Let the audience have a good look mm. on the two different styles that we have. So it's one or two better. You can leave in the comments below. Mm. Yeah. All right, so both plates are ready right in front of you. So Cheryl, you can now look at it and judge which one is a better plate. I've been training. Mm. Huh? Yeah. All right, I shall reserve my comments. We'll find out more in the next episode. Next episode. Mm. Oh, so we're going back to that one. All mm. right, so okay, yeah. viewers, you can now comment and you know whether it's Ben Logan or Ming Wei who stand a chance to be the better plater for this episode and we will unveil the results uh, in the next one coming in, okay? So uh, for now, we're going to just take a moment and have a short break and we will be back with uh, the next recipe in a few short moments time, so stay tuned.
Watcha? Cooking. Yeah. And of course, uh, what's coming up next? So we're going to make homemade crunchy muesli. Muesli mm. and okonomiyaki. What is the link between today's dishes? So the theme today is eat a rainbow. So earlier, my okonomiyaki, we added carrot, red cabbage mm -hmm. to make, make it very colourful. Oh. Um, and because each colour of um, the fruits and vegetables give you a different class of antioxidants and nutrients. Mm. Um, we're also doing the same thing for muesli. So we're going to use different colours um, in terms of the dried fruit to create this dish. Oh, so it sounds really fun. This is how you actually sell it across to the little ones especially, right? That you're taking the chance to enjoy eating rainbows. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so with the muesli, what ingredients do we have? Okay, first thing, I've got eggs, okay. which we need to separate. Eggs to separate, alright? Yes. I've done this a couple of times on the show, and we got Mingwei over here. Mingwei, are you familiar with social distancing? Yeah. Okay, so, no. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh. You get to split. Oh. <laughs> He cracked the egg, but it's okay, it stay in his hands. Yep. Now you get to split the egg white because I am the professional already. You get to try on this episode. How do I split it? Uh, you just go ahead. If it's wrong, we'll tell you, alright? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need three okay. egg whites. Three egg whites. Uh. Yes. Wow. Can I have one more egg, please? Oh, one more egg, okay. Mm. No, then pass it on, uh, so okay. that you don't break all the eggs. Uh. Yeah. Alright. Uh, um. <laughs> well, Mingwei, I think you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you need to explain to him how to okay. split the egg white. Uh. Okay, so sometimes such things happen, so it's okay, you can scramble this to make an omelette oh, or yeah, yeah, yeah. fry an egg, no problem. But let's try it with another oh, egg. Oh, <laughs> give you another bowl. Yeah, let's have another bowl. Alright, now, nah, I have a bowl here. Thank you. Alright, so how do we split the eggs? We've done it a couple of times in the last few episodes. Yeah. So, so you just crack it into a bowl. I like to use a clean bowl to crack the entire egg, so if it breaks or anything, you can... You are not stuck with it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And. Uh, Ming Wei has not cracked a raw egg for a long time. Oh, nicely oh, done. Nice. Okay, so okay, so how do you split it? Um, one by one or you put yeah, them together? I would suggest do it one by one. So one by in one. case you crack the yolk of egg number two, oh, your yeah, egg number one is not affected. No way. Okay, let's yeah. see how you... So you can pop the yolk in here. Or just scoop it up. Mm. Oh, very risky. It's going to... Oh, you did it, did it, did it. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. fine. Okay. Then, so it's a little bit different from how I usually do it. In the last few episodes, what we actually did was we crack the egg yolk and then we just juggle uh, the yolk between the shells. Yeah, you can do that too. Yeah. That's another way of doing it. Mm. I find it a little bit more fun when I'm doing that. How about ah. this? Uh, oh, oh, so that's done another it. way. <laughs> oh, wow. You filter the egg oh. straight away. That's okay. We can yeah. still... Scoop, scoop the up. small portion out, yeah? yeah you but if it accidentally has a little bit of egg yolk, it's still fine, right? Does it change the whole texture? Um, yeah, I think it's, it should be okay, no problem. A little small yeah. bit, Just but not too much. Bit. If it's way too much, then, more. then no. Oh, one yeah. more. Uh, Thank so you. So really putting him to the test today, huh? Yes. Okay, and okay. one more over here. Oh. So Mingwei, you know, you have been uh, training as a Taekwondo athlete for a long time, right? Yep. And, you know, at this point of time, while you're, you know, in the midst of cooking, uh, what are some of the difficulties you face at home when it comes to actually training yourself? You mean during this period? Yeah, during this period. I think because... <laughs> I'm going to try to concentration <laughs> and see whether he can do two things at once. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, oh, he can't. Let me concentrate. Okay, yeah, okay. that's Fasma. fine, that's fine. Yeah, okay. You probably had like one-fifth of the egg okay. yeah. left. That's okay. okay, no problem. We can still round with this recipe. Yeah, okay. But just, let's hear from you. So mm. what, 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 what's the issues that you face when it comes to training? Oh, because Taekwondo actually is a very highly interactive sport mm. which requires a lot of human interaction. So it's very difficult to get simulation because you do have real-life training partners. So what do you do? You kick your furniture? So, <laughs> <laughs> so what you can do is you can like maybe kick the air, oh. or you can tie some, like the target, the kick pads to like walls or something. Oh, so you yeah. can start planning things at home. Yeah. Alright, mm -hmm. so I'm going to ask you more questions short while, but let's see what's the next step after the egg white this time. Okay, so we're going to measure out half a cup of olive oil. Okay. okay. Alright, half a cup. Alright, Ben, I'm going to get you to measure out four, four cups of oats. Four cups of oats, okay. Yeah. I'll let Mingwei. Mingwei, I need four oats. Can you Sorry. prepare four oats? Four? Yeah. Oh. What do you mean for oats? <laughs> okay, let's see how you do this. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. oh, so this is how uh. you prepare oats. This is not, not four. 
<laughs> Don't start counting <laughs> bro. Four okay. cups, four cups, four cups. Okay, the, the table is clean, so you can it goes here. <laughs> oh, okay. So we are keeping the wet ingredients and dry ingredients separate, separate first. Okay. Um, and then after that, we will mix them all together. Mm. Okay, fantastic. I'm going to grab this off you so that okay. we don't have more on the table. <laughs> Alright, so we got the oats here. Okay. Okay, we're going to finish up with the wet ingredients. So I've got olive oil, egg whites, and I need another half cup of um, honey. Half cup of honey. Yes. Wow. So what we did was to measure the olive oil first, followed by the honey. I like to do that, otherwise the honey is, is a bit hard for it to get out of the cup. But then with the oil there, it slides out very oh, easily. Oh, okay. So it actually coats the cup after the, mm. the olive oil. Yeah. But when you, half, half cup? Mm, half cup. Yeah. This is half cup? Yes. Yeah. I thought this is a full cup. <laughs> As okay. in the whole cup is half cup. Oh. <laughs> so make sure you use the correct make cup. Make sure you s yeah, you use the correct cup. This oh, is a one oh, cup. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> so we didn't even realise that this is labelled. So make sure you have your right equipment. But why honey, not sugar? Um, I feel it gives it another dimension of flavour. Mm. Of course you can use sugar, but Honey, sugar, brown sugar, they are all still yeah, sugar. Honey is also a slightly healthier choice, right? Um, it contains a little bit more minerals. Okay. Um, as compared to just processed pure white sugar. Mm, I mm. like honey, it yeah. makes your throat better. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay, Mingwei, could you give this a mix? Alright, let's start right. it in. We Amy. need to measure two cups of nuts of your choice. So I've got Ooh, almonds, like. walnuts, My favorite. and cashew nuts, up to you. Alright, so any kind of nut. So any just basically a mix that forms up one. Two oh, cups. Two cups. Okay. Mm. I am a huge lover of uh, cashew nuts. Go for it. So I'm going to go for more of that. Though I know walnuts are really good for health. Yeah. So I'm using pre roasted nuts, but if you have access to raw nuts, you can just pre roast them in the oven while your oven is warming up. Okay, so it really it depends on your own, uh, the availability of the ingredients to you. Mm. Alright, so. I like walnuts too. Actually, I'm a nut lover. Are you a nut lover, Mingwei? Yeah, I love nuts. Oh, I just accidentally got the silicon pack in. I'm gonna yep. get it out. Alright, I'm okay. done. Okay, and then we can add in one cup of dried fruit of your choice. Okay. No, I really like nuts. You know. <laughs> yeah, nuts are really full of fiber mm. um, and protein as well. So it's good for health. So how much do I put this? Uh, one cup of. Oh, one cup. Any kind of um dried food. Okay. So nice. Again, yeah. Good job. You must be listening to the teacher when you're cooking. You know, you ask questions over and over. <laughs> All right. So one cup. Yeah. So over here, I've got a mix of pumpkin seeds and um sunflower seeds. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna add in. Ming help me open can. Of course. Thank some. You. Some. Huh? Okay. Probably I'll go about half half cup. Yeah, and sunflower seeds are actually a good source of. Uh, magnesium. Mm. Mm. What does magnesium do for you actually? Um, it's great for your energy system. Oh. Yeah. So if you want to, you know, have a little bit more power power to your day, uh, sunflower seeds does a great job, right? Yes. Um, it's ah. also magnesium is also great for muscular function as well. Oh really? Yeah. So if you are someone who's really into cardio training all that, it is good to consume a little bit of sunflower seeds. I would say have a balanced diet because. Mm. Issues will come in if you are deficient in a particular nutrient. Mm. So the idea is to have a range of foods, mm. so you get a range oh. of nutrients, so you don't get deficient. Learning point. Yeah. Alright, so what now? Okay, so I Inside like to like boost it up with a little baby bit more protein. Powder. Yeah, I'm just using um, milk powder. Oh, no baby milk powder. <laughs> um, just regular milk powder. Okay. <laughs> if you've got access to baby milk powder, by all means. Okay, oh, let's add. Powder. Oh, uh, it's been a long time. Have you have you seen milk powder in your dishes? No, I haven't. Right? No. Yeah. 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 yeah, I haven't seen it. Okay, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. Time. All right. Yeah, if um you have access to protein powder, up to you. But oh. I like to use whole food sources, so hence I'm using um milk powder. Wait for you because you know whenever you're training or when you're back to you know high level training, yeah. you can actually add a little bit of protein powder to pack a bit of gains right yeah oh. yeah but you know again we were talking about you know uh mingwei over here yeah. and you are in which category of taekwondo oh i mean flyweight fly flyweight those less than 20 kg <laughs> no <laughs> 
It's actually 58 kg and below. Oh, 58 yeah. kg and below. So yeah. you really have to keep a, a tight, stringent uh, weight program, right? Because if you were to accidentally gain excess, then you will move on to another category. Mm. Is that yep. right? Yep. And what does flyweight do? Your kick really high, like jump, like those acrobatic style? Hmm? No, it's just that um, it's not by height, but it's like by weight. So that means everyone in the category has to be below 58 kg. Also, oh, if I am, like me now, I'm actually like 58 kg. Mm -hmm. If. <laughs> Alright, then I will be in the same category even though I'm much shorter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh interesting. Yeah. Okay, so what do we do next? Okay, I'm just gonna add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. Okay, so we're gonna and mix All it we need to do is just to mix them together. Okay, so you have to whisk it. Uh no, just mix it together. Alright, that's that. Ta -ta. <laughs> we always get the okay. new yeah. participant to uh whisk something together. And no no while he's doing this as uh you know, spot dietitian if you are you know meeting someone like uh, Ming Wei, as a Taekwondo athlete, is that within your expertise? Do you usually work with athletes from the Taekwondo um, area? I don't usually work with Taekwondo athletes, but I do work with Silat, um, which is also another combat sport, which is weight classified. Oh. Yeah. And what we yeah. recommend him to, you know, if you are familiar with Silat, basing on that platform, what we recommend on his diet routines? So combat sport athletes who need to make weight actually have got a very... Um, rigorous training regime um yeah they undergo lots of tough training um but also challenges with regard to making weight so actually Mingwei, what sort of challenges do you face in your sport mm, the thing is oh uh, in in our sport and i think it's in some of the sports now we usually weigh in one day before mm -hmm. so after weighing we got only like less than a day to get back all our energy to compete the next day and in some sports including Taekwondo, you, you still cannot exceed a certain weight. That means they give you like a maximum of like 5%. Oh, so it's like 60 kg? Still okay? Um, yeah, it's up to 60.9. Oh. So you only got like 2.9 kg to gain and what to eat is really very important. Mm, so yeah. what I should we eat? I guess my recommendation would be for athletes, um, for their regular walking weight, not to be more than two kilos above their competing weight. Okay. Um, so that it doesn't stress the body out too much, you know, dropping your weight so quickly and then wanting to regain that, but yet you only have a fine margin to regain. Okay. Um, that's one. And another one to take note of is what you eat after your first weigh in for recovery. Mm. So because you've got a second weigh in that you cannot exceed your weight at, um, what you need to intake, it will be things that are very energy dense mm -hmm. um, so that you, you can get maximum energy from minimal weight. So oh. what kind of food is energy dense? Mm, actually nuts are wonderful. Things that we're making now, oh. Oh. this is pretty energy dense. Um, you can add you know, yogurt to it when you eat it. As, okay. as a and we can add chia seeds? Yeah, of course you can add chia seeds. <laughs> um, but nuts... Uh, and oats. So nuts is a great source of protein and we added a little bit more milk powder to that so we boosted the protein. Mm. Um, oats is a really nice source of slow release carbohydrates. Okay. So that gives you fuel, that gives you energy. Together with the fruit, the dried fruit, that's also another source of carbohydrates mm. for fuel. So enough chia seeds over here? Yeah, looks okay. good. So All you can right, mix it up. Coming. And so we'll the mueslis are great energy boosters, and also because there's oats, it, it breaks down a bit longer. As we have learned over the last few episodes, and along with chia seeds, gives you feel. Mm. So this is going to be like a great snack to fill, uh, you know, your your day slots, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, it's quite tiring. All right, <laughs> come let's <laughs> let's so, scoop it out. So how long can it last? This like, one. Mm. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do now is to dry it out in the oven, okay. bake it for about 20 minutes wow. or okay. so, so it's going to turn crunchy and because it's crunchy, it can um, last for about one to two weeks in an oh. airtight container. Wow, so you, you, get, you get about this size bro. If you look at the tray, so your muesli is this big. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> muesli. Wait, this is cereal muesli, not not the roll out muesli. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So you actually get crumbs of it. Yeah, you get crumbs. So oh. you actually pick it off to eat. It's not like coming out in a bar. Yeah, oh. actually, if you want to form it into a bar, you can. How do I do that? Do you I just add press it together? Else? Oh, mm, so can, just press can it I together. actually like press it together so that when it comes out, it becomes like a like a bar? Yes, like you can. Oh. Yeah. Bless. You want to try? Yeah, yeah, you can do that. It's just that um, it might take a little while longer, rather than 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I'd probably give it half an hour. But do we like add 
mm, uh, additional things like honey so that it sticks better, or oh. caramel, or like chocolate sauce. Oh, no, no, because I'm starting to be <laughs> deviating from my health. No, it's just creating a dessert out of this. La. Oh. But if you're talking about you know keeping it, um, having slow-release carbohydrates for breakfast, for example, and as an energy source, um, we, we already added honey in that. Yes. So oh. not necessary to add more. Okay, I'm going to see. Because I know that it's going to be easy to have it baked and broken up. Let's see if this really mm. comes out in a nice big bar and then you can have half of it and I have half. Okay. okay so I, I don't know. We'll find out later. <laughs> do we put it in the train now? Yes. Like, I'll let the expert oh, do sure, it. Oh, sure, sure. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so our muesli is going into the oven. You like muesli, bro? Yeah. Do you usually have like muesli stashed with you uh, uh, when you go on training so that if you are hungry or you need a booster, you just... Yeah, sometimes I do that because um, for most of the athletes in Singapore, usually they are they all have very little time in between. Ah. Like maybe they are studying or working, and they need to rush to training. So it's good to have some bar with you, so you can like get some energy before you train. So is it? Yeah. It's true that athletes really do put in a lot more time management and efforts. That's why we must appreciate them. It's not that easy, isn't it? Well, and that's why our you know <laughs> dietitian is here, you know, to get you guys moving a bit faster. So, uh, how long will it take, and what's coming up next? Um, I will estimate about half an hour in our new format. Okay. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see, we'll come back and find out more. Alright, so we're going to take a short break right now, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, we will be back with the next recipe coming very, very shortly. And we will see if my muesli comes out in a full nice bar. <laughs>
And of course, we're back once again, and you can wave in the background the nice fragrance of the muesli cooking. I'm going to take a quick peek. And I think we might just succeed in creating that super-sized bar. Yeah, we'll it's find the first out. time, right? Trying yeah, to I've never done that before, one. yeah. Alright, let's see if it happens <laughs> on this show. But uh, coming up next, what are we going to prepare? We're going to make a berry yogurt bark. Berry yogurt bark. Oh, that was the one that you mentioned the last episode, and we have people asking, you know, that little, you were saying that, like a lollipop thing, right? Mm. And, uh, you know, we're going to bring it in for this episode and let you have another easy dessert that you can prepare in the comfort of your home. You like yeah. dessert, bro? Yep. And what kind of dessert? Sweet? Very sweet? Very sweet. Oh, so oh you are well. bubble tea. Sweet guy. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so today we're not going to do it in a lollipop because I think mm. it takes a little longer to set. We're mm. just going to do it in a tray. Anyway, we are eating it mostly at home and probably don't want to just keep making <laughs> pop. La, huh? So let's keep it simple. Okay. Uh, what do we have? Okay, so the base will be yogurt. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use one whole kilo of yogurt. Oh, what, what is it, what's it called again? Do you remember? Mingwei? What's it called? Yogurt. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Huh? It's a berry yogurt bar. Is it? Bark. Bark. Oh, yeah. berry yogurt. Why is it yogurt bark? Why, when you bite it and you go woof woof? Um, no. <laughs> oh. So, oh, is it the shape of it that looks like a. Yeah, like a fruit bark, you know, have you heard of a fruit bark? Yeah, I only heard of a dog bark. Oh, okay, this is something new then. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, so it's a, it's a fruit bark? It's, a yeah. fru it's like a bark, yeah, a fruit, like a fruit bark. Oh, are you familiar mm. with this one, Miwe? No. Oh, okay. oh. So while we are struggling to get the yogurt all out. Okay, okay done, done. So what, what yogurt is this? Um, I'm using just regular plain yogurt. Okay. If you get your hands on good yogurt, you yeah. get a little bit more protein in there. But I didn't oh, manage okay. to find that in the supermarket. So oh, yeah, because now go for it. With COVID-19, some of the supplies can be uh, slower in stocking up. So whatever yogurt. Yeah, okay, whatever yogurt. Can you get a fruity yogurt? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. um, just that with the fruity yogurt, you already have added sugar. So, ooh. ooh let's, let's see what's cooking. <laughs> good timing, isn't it? <laughs> just as we are talking about it. And it's okay. really going to let it rest for a while. I will okay. take it out first. Mm -hmm. Let's place it here. Okay. It yeah, looks really let it nice. Cool down. It's like a nice portrait that is out there, you know? Are you excited? Yep. <laughs> I, said, I spent so much time trying to mix it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mixed it. <laughs> All right. Wow. And it really yep. looks really nice, huh? It looks like a big cookie. Yeah, it looks like a Yeah, cookie. so we let it cool. <laughs> what, as it cools, it will set. Okay. So we'll see whether it can keep its shape. Wow, look at this mm. one. Okay, so we are at the yogurt stage. What do we add in next? Yeah, so earlier on you were asking me whether you know you can use a fruit yogurt. Mm. Yes, you can, but if you use that, it will already contain added sugar. So you might not want to add as much mm, sugar as, oh, as yeah. what I'm going to do now. So it's up to you what you want to add. You can add honey, you can add fruit. I mm. am going with uh, fruit jam. Is there a preferred jam that you like anyway? Like yeah, I love strawberry jam. Actually. Oh, strawberry mm. yeah. Yeah. Marmalade? Marmalade or orange jam? Um, hmm? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like in Singapore, we, do we have a, I don't remember us eating a lot of marmalade. Like, no. right? I think yeah. mostly it's like kaya jams in oh, Singapore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kaya, I, I, I don't know, you can try and uh, let us know how you find it. Yeah, so if, you, if you've ever tried something different like putting kaya or yeah. putting peanut butter, let us know how you Not sure. It. Okay, so next I've got some raspberries, striped, uh, sorry, frozen raspberries. Okay. Must it be I'm, frozen? Um, you can buy fresh, but I find frozen a little bit more budget friendly. Oh. And you can store it for as long as you like. Mm. So a great way to, if you are thinking of recreating this on another day, mm. then you can actually keep it longer. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So what I'm just going to do, if you can see, I'm just folding it through. Okay, it's called folding, uh, not whisking. Uh. What's the difference actually? Um, Whisk, you have a whisk. Oh. Yeah. So I'm just folding it with a spatula. And um, I am going to put it out here in, on this tray. Let me shift this okay. for Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, okay. Dark chocolate. Yes, we're going to top it up with dark chocolate. So. It looks like a cheesecake already. Yeah. Oh, really um, nice. And the best thing about this recipe is I'm using proportions, but of course you're free to change it up. So if your pan is bigger, your pan is smaller, just change up how much yogurt you use. Mm. If you like it sweeter, you can add a little bit more jam. You want more fruit, by all means add more fruit. Oh, so this is really a dish that you can just base on your own preference to yeah. play around with. Yeah, exactly. It looks easy. So yogurt, any fruit item inside, mm. spread it. Spread it and I want to 
beautify it a little bit more? By putting me inside, you will beautify. Um, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so um, I want to put in some nuts. Okay. So I want the nuts crushed. Mm -hmm. Can crushed. you guys help me crush a handful of nuts each? Please? A handful oh. is like this. Yeah, up to um, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I don't have the necessary stuff to crush, but let's have Thank a bowl you. each, bro. Yep. Is this a crushing competition now? Oh yes, let's wow. make it a competition. So, so do, does it have to be very fine? Uh, I like it chunky, so let's try to keep it chunky. Okay. okay. It need not be fine, uh, but it's really up to you. Okay. okay, any nuts? Any nuts that we any can... Any nuts, so I've got walnuts, oh, I've got almonds, I've got cashews. Okay. So okay. Depending on your own preference. Mm. Because we've got no equipment to crush it with. Uh, handful, bro. Handful. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's a whole pack! <laughs> I'm gonna switch okay. with you, come. Okay. I'm gonna have some cashews also. Okay. I'm not gonna take almonds with this one because uh, it's not easy. I, I don't think it's gonna. I'm gonna find it easy to crush. Ah, okay, I got a spatula base. Right, so now that we are crushing, you know, I was just, just really curious that you, you, you were probably training for some competitions along the way, all right? And with your competitions in the background, is, is anything affected at this stage? Um, yeah, actually, before this, I was preparing almost like one year for the Olympic qualifiers, oh, which wow. got postponed. Okay, yeah. I, I mean, I heard about it, uh, yeah. probably in the news. Yeah. And, and so what's next if, if it's postponed? When is it coming again? Mm, I think as of now, it's still pending because everyone is not sure how the virus will, f will unfold. So I think we need to wait for more updates. Oh. Yeah. So you guys did a really La -la. good job. Yeah. Let's compare. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's look at the difference over here. Yeah. But you know, we, I really wish yeah. you uh, good luck on that Thank one. you. And I hope you excel yeah. mm. with a little bit more time. It's really how positive we are yeah. and the angle that we look at when it comes to competition. Yeah. But the most important thing really is to stay healthy and have that chance to fight another day, right? Yeah. Mm. That's why we eat good food now. Yeah. Ken? Yeah, okay, really good. So it's really up to you how crushed you want it to be. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to use it as toppings for this. So I've got some dried fruit, uh, sorry, frozen fruit. Oh. Strawberries and blueberries, which mm -hmm. I'm just going to scatter. Okay, I'm going to just move this aside so okay. we have a nice view. Yes. Uh, now we are both kitchen connoisseur. <laughs> Very neat and tidy. Yep. Right. <laughs> How are you having fun so far, Mingwei? I mean, yep. have you, this really, is this really like the first first time you're putting your hands in the kitchen? Alright. Yeah, unless if you count instant noodle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cooking as well. well okay, you can count your nuts on it. Alright, yeah. let's get nuts, bro. Let's sprinkle it all over the nicely. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, it looks actually very nice. So you lift it up and show the audience. Okay. Wow. And I'm going to top it up with some crushed dark chocolate. Now, Mingwei, would you like to help oh, crush sure. it? All right. Yeah. So we are using really brightly coloured berries. So mm -hmm. blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, and dark chocolate. So all these are really antioxidant rich. And also the colour contrast is very nice, right? Mm, because yeah, they have bright yeah. colours, they have light darker tones. And I like how they wear these I was just gonna break oh. it inside the bag, oh. but I don't know how I <laughs> You wanna make it? <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> so it, it's good lah, it's good. You know, you're taking instructions well and learning new things, but actually for chocolate, it's quite easy to just crumble it lah, because it's softer, right? Yeah, yeah. You wanna use my spatula? <laughs> I think it's okay. Yeah. I will just... Yeah, I can Oh, so you up. get nice chunks over here, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I, I, and I like my chocolate chunkier. Mm, mm, mm. So let's, let's do it. Alright. Mingwei is very into his role now. Actually, you know, sometimes I would like to think that what we are cooking is actually also a form of exercise because you're pounding, and then you're sifting, and you're moving around yeah, quite a yeah. fair bit. And it, it does mildly still burn some cholesterol because like, you're moving around, right? Calories, you mean not oh, yeah, cholesterol. Cal <laughs> calories, you know. Calories. Alright, nice job. Okay, so I just want to secure everything by just pressing it down. Okay, I can get you a lock and key. Uh, no need lah. <laughs> <laughs> no need. Oh, it looks okay, really nice and on, that's on, on it. screen. Yeah. yeah, so all we need to do now is just put it in the, the freezer. <laughs> 
Not everything on the tray goes into the <laughs> oven, bro. Yeah. Huh? I was just trying to yeah. trick you. Eh? Really? You went, really? Yeah. So okay. we just pop it in the freezer Tell for... Me. Do the honours, my friend. Yeah. Oh. How long do, does it have um, to be in the freezer? So, because it's in a flat tray, it will That's freeze in probably freezer. one hour. Oh, yeah. Um, otherwise overnight if you have time. Right, so, so I made a batch earlier. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we just replaced the space. position. Okay. Huh? Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't have nicely crushed nuts like you guys, but I've got almonds. Wow, look at look at the colour. Yeah. Wow. So It's like two plates of nicely plated pizzas. <laughs> Oh right. yeah, one cold, one hot, yeah. right? Yeah, wow, we got savory and sweet or something <laughs> like that. Wow, we have two fantabulous recipes already on display. Not forgetting our starting dish, which is the... Oko... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okonomiyaki! Okay. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to pass it over to you. Let's place it right in front so that the viewers can have a nice look of what we have prepared today. Three exciting dishes, easy to prepare. Uh, Mingwei, this is going to be your very first time. What's the experience like? Oh, I mean, it, it seems much easier than I thought. I thought I will, I will do like very badly or something. Oh. Oh, how, how do you think I do today? No, I thought you did really well. Oh. Look, remember the flip that he did with the Okonomiyaki? <laughs> Goodness, I awesome. thought I purposely gave him the bigger one and bound to <laughs> bail for that one. And he did a voila! <laughs> I thought yeah. I will fail to it. What but do you think about cooking at home? Yes. Oh. I think after learning about all the nutrition facts today, I think it's much better to cook at home because um, you know what you're putting inside your body. Because mm. usually when you buy outside or if you just make, if you just buy those ready-made mm. food, you don't know what goes inside the food. True. But if, um, as an athlete, when nutrition is very important, if you know what goes inside your food, it's better for you. You can, con you, you, if you need more carbs, you need more protein, you can, you can make your food according to your needs. Mm. And yeah. the factual thing is that now with the whole circuit breaker period, yeah. it's a great time to experience new things, isn't it? Mm. Like I, I've never thought that I'd be in the kitchen cooking with so many people yeah. and enjoying the whole entire process yeah. right over here. And it's true, it's going to get uh, more socially uh, responsible for people to stay at home. Yeah. All right? And of course, we need to have that chance to also understand what kind of food we're eating at home. Mm -hmm. And by giving you the opportunity, you can now, who cooks for you? Actually, for now, my mm. mom cooks for me. And yeah. you are able to impress her. Maybe the next <laughs> one, you'll be cooking, right? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> and of course, anything that you want to share with the viewers or with Mingwei when it comes to, you know, the circuit breaker situation with all these amazing dishes that we have come on over the last two episodes that you have been involved? Um, anything... Well, I guess it's, it's just experimenting with the food because Myself, I have never made my muesli into a bar, <laughs> so you never know what might come out about with the products that you create. Correct. By yeah. all means, give it a try. Yeah, should we should give this a try, right? Let's yep. take a big plate, and then okay. oh no, we should take the chopping board. Is it around? Where's the chopping um, board? Uh, where they have it? Oh, it's over here. Yes. Let's see if it actually comes out as we an entire an bar. <laughs> all right. Now, uh, Mingwei, you're gonna help me. You're gonna lift. The baking paper, put it there, see whether it stays as one full entire bean. The board is too small, lah. Uh, <laughs> but it does, oh, it feels like it's an entire yeah, bar. Yeah, yeah, looks really like good. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's like it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think the chopping board is a bit small. <laughs> smaller, it's okay. But we are <laughs> trying okay. to show you that even on the chopping board itself, it's resting as a whole piece. That and works, yeah. You know, with all these dishes, let's do a quick recap of some of the ingredients that we have done on the Okonomiyaki. We had the rainbows? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we had red cabbage, green cabbage and carrot. Mm -hmm. And we topped it up with spring onions, which is also another colour, green. Mm -hmm. mm. And also we have the uh, the next one, which is the muesli, where mm -hmm. you actually use... Uh, what did we use? Yogurt? No, oh, this, oh, one <laughs> yogurt, this one. <laughs> <laughs> we used lots of dried fruit. So mm. we had blueberries, cranberries, cherries, um, lots of seeds and nuts, mm. and oats. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And the main thing, oats. Yeah. So mm. you can actually enjoy this. Right? And the last one will be the fantabulous dessert that we talked about in the last episode. We brought it back in action. It doesn't necessarily have to come in a lollipop style. Mm. And it's one entire piece over here. Yeah. So, for this episode, it's the moment for uh, my favourite time of each round of the programme. That's where we tuck in. We have never ever enjoyed three courses one go. Mm -hmm. So, let's dive in and, uh, you know, have yeah, a quick taste and see how it actually turns out. Oh my god. How is it? Give it a try. <laughs> so good. Mm. 
very fragrant, nice and crunchy, sets nicely, not overly sweet. Definitely something that you can just mm. crush and just keep chewing on. Mm. Very nicely settled. I'm gonna try the. Um, oh, tastes like a tiny little ice cream bar. I thought you were gonna have a bigger cup. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just gonna three second rule. I'm oh. just gonna try it. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Mm. <laughs> oh. Very nice flavor, light, refreshing. You know, we are also giving Ming Wei a chance to make use of the kitchen knife. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's really fun to see yourself getting your hands on and getting in the action. So you really should try this at home. Very, very simple ways. It's getting a slice out for um, Cheryl. Let me just put this on a nice little plate for you. Thank you. Ooh. Give it a try. You yeah. got a nice piece of the you strawberry. Get the berry bit. And uh, we're going to move on into the Okonomiyaki. How's mm. it? It's really like a delicacy that you can get off uh, you know, any outlet that's out there. And you really are doing this at home. So you really should give it a try. How, how much do you think of your very own creation? It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> tastes like ice cream. It tastes like yeah. ice cream, right? It but it's much like healthier. Yes, and it's a great source of energy, all right? And of course, we really want you to give it a try, and I'm going to dive on into the Okonomiyaki. I'm going to slice it up. I'm going to slice my big slice. Do I have another knife over there? Yeah, okay, I'm going to let you practice on this one. Let's slice it to four pieces, and we're going to give it a quick try and tell you how amazing our uh, recipes are for episode 4. And of course, while we are diving in, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for joining us on What You're Cooking. Remember to like, share, comment if you have any questions on some of the ingredients that have been used or the recipes right over here. Just write it out in the comment area. We will give you your answers in the coming episodes. And of course, remember to keep on watching, stay home, stay safe, and most importantly, enjoy every single session of cooking in the comfort of your home. Once again, this is Ben Logan, Cheryl and Ming Wei right here with What You're Cooking. It's time for us to dive on it. Come on, let's go.